Hey, what's going on, guys? It's that time of the week again. Yeah, that's right. A mixer's favorite time of the week. It's time for some vape mail. So let's get right into it. What's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development and here at JFM Development we're all about the community helping you learn how to mix. Uh, also if you are new to mixing I invite you to check out the JFM Development Just Friggin Mix group on Facebook. The link should be in the description but if you're just getting started it'll help you out. There's a big community of mixers. We're more than welcome and happy to get you started. Now today I have a very exciting video for you today. It's one of the mixers most favorite time of the week when their vape mail arrives. So today I have a vape mail video and today is especially important vape mail video because it has two things in it that are very special to me. I consider it a trophy as a DIYer and what that is to me and I know it's kind of corny but it's a 16 ounce bottle of flavorings. Two flavorings I use a lot and it's kind of to reward myself for like how far I've gotten in the community in terms of like my mixing level and just blowing through the stuff. It just means a lot to me. So I, I what I did was I, I took a, a revenue from the channel. As I said, anything that I make from the channel, I'm going to put right back into the channel. So what I did was I used some of that money and I got myself a 16 ounce bottle of flavoring. And I call this my trophy. So what are those flavors? Well, let's first get into the vape mail right now. Let's not waste any time. So the first thing I got, and this is my trophy, and this is Strawberry Ripe. And this is Strawberry Ripe from uh, TFA. Now, we all know what TFA Strawberry Ripe is, unless you're brand new. But this is by far, in my opinion, the best strawberry to have. So I had to get a 16-ounce bottle for my trophy now i'm gonna use this stuff really quick because let me tell you i blow through four ounce bottles of this so this will go in no time at all so it's not just unnecessary it's actually practical and it's cheaper when you get it if you know you're going to use a flavor and you blow through it it's actually more economical to buy them in this size now let me just give you a perspective real quick this is a 16 ounce bottle of flavoring right here and this is a 30 mil, okay? So that should just give you perspective on just how big that is. It's great, it's great. So now, if you guys don't know what Strawberry Ripe is, if you happen to be a new mixer, the flavor profile on it is kind of like a half authentic, half authentic and half uh, candied strawberry. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. And that's where I'd put Strawberry Ripe, but a lot of you probably already know what it is, so I probably shouldn't have to go into more detail than that. But it is, it is arguably one of the best strawberries. Now, I got pretty much the second best strawberry or the second strawberry that's in the running for the best strawberry with me as well. I also got that in my vape mail as well, but we'll get to that in a second. So that was the first 16 ounce bottle I got. The next 16 ounce bottle I got, and this is the last big bottle I got, but was TFA Cheesecake Graham Crust. Yes, I got a 16 ounce of cheesecake graham crust. And why did I do that? Because, again, it's a flavor I go through a lot. And a lot of people know this flavor. Because this flavor is not just a great flavor. It makes a great base. Not just in cheesecakes, but it can be in strawberries and cream. It can be in anything. It's just that cheesecake graham crust base is, like, one to be reckoned with. It's an excellent, excellent flavor. And definitely worthy of a big bottle. Because, again... What I did was, when I chose the 16 ounce bottles I wanted to get, I made sure there were flavor profiles that I was using a lot of and going through a lot of. And that is very important. Next up for uh, my vape meal, I got a 4 ounce bottle of Flavor Art Red Touch Strawberry. Or it's called Flavor Art Strawberry. Now, let me show you this real quick. Right here is the Flavor Art Strawberry from actually Italy. This came from Italy. This was sent from Flavor Art Direct in Italy. And on it, it says Fregola, and then it says Strawberry. It doesn't say Red Touch on it. Same thing with this one. This one is uh, Red Touch Strawberry or Strawberry from Flavor Art, and it says just Strawberry on it. Now, why am I stressing that out? Because the only place I believe I've seen it called Red Touch is eSig Express. Now, I don't know why eSig Express does that and calls it Red Touch, but it confuses a lot of DIYers, and 
I know eSig Express watches some of my videos. My question to you is, if you are watching, why do you do that? I get so many people asking me, what, what's the difference? Oh, do I need to get Red Touch, Strawberry, and Strawberry? And I've had countless people do it, get both of them, thinking it's a different thing. But when in actuality, it's really the same thing. And they're like, well, why do they do that? And I'm like, I don't know. So, you know, in my investigation, it's pretty much just eSig Express doing it. I don't know why. They also call TFA Signature, which also is confusing to new people. So, is it really necessary? Anyways, so yes, I got TFA. I'm sorry, I got Flavor Art Strawberry. And this strawberry is also in the running for the best strawberry. I love it. But I only got a 4-ounce bottle of this, acting like that small. But I got a 4-ounce bottle of this because this is a lot stronger of a strawberry. And you need to use less of it to get more flavor. And this is one of the most authentic strawberry flavorings that are out there. You just use a little bit. You add it with your strawberry ripe. Excellent flavor. Mm, so good. So good. Again. I only get bigger bottles of stuff I tear through. Like, I wouldn't get a big bottle of, uh, for example, I wouldn't get a big bottle of Lucky Leprechaun cereal from TFA because that flavor I don't really use as much of. But something like strawberries and the creams I use all the time, of course, of course I'm going to get big bottles of those. It's cheaper. It's actually cheaper doing it that way. Now, next up, and here's another big bottle I got. And it's of Capella New York Cheesecake. Yes, Capella New York Cheesecake came in the mail. And this is another bottle. This is Again, this is another refill, but I'll just explain to you what it is. Again, this is more of a cheesy cheesecake. It's a little bit more cheesy than Cheesecake Graham Crushed, but it also has like a different uh, crust to it. It's almost like Capella Sugar Cookie as the crust opposed to like a Graham Cracker crust. But... It's it's a really nice cheesecake flavor, and again, you can use it as basis to strawberries and cream, or you can use it as a cheesecake base, depending on how much you lay in there for your flavor percentages, but it's an excellent cheesecake flavor. As you guys can possibly tell, I'm a big cheesecake fan, especially strawberry cheesecake, and that's why a lot of my arsenal is definitely built towards that, and it definitely I definitely have a lot more flavors to use in those type of situations. But again, you can't go wrong with this flavor as well. You'll get so much use out of it. Excellent, excellent flavor. Cheesy and with uh, sugar cookie back notes. All right, so now that we got the bigger bottles through, there's only a couple more left. Next one up, and believe it or not, I never had this. I had uh, whipped cream from Flavor Art, and I think I had whipped cream from TFA, but I believe it or not, I never got Capella whipped cream. Now that's changed. Now here's Capella whipped cream. I kept hearing about this flavor. Everybody's praising it, saying how great it is. I tried it in a couple recipes and they're steeping, but it does smell wonderful. It smells like this flavor will do wonders. I can't wait to do some more testing with it. If I were to try it on the back of my hand. Mmm. It tastes like whipped cream. It's excellent. It almost tastes even a little bit fluffy. Which is hard. Normally, normally they don't taste as full. So Capella seems to be really good with their cream bases. They seem to always be really creamy and thick and full. Especially with their vanilla bean ice cream. With their custards. They really know their game when it comes to creams. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to enjoy getting some use out of this, checking it out, doing some trials. It's an excellent flavor. Followed up by, next up is, Capella Graham Cracker. Now, yes, Capella Graham Cracker. This is my first time getting it. Uh, I know I need a big bottle of another Graham Cracker because I'm running out of all my Graham Crackers, but before I went and purchased another one... I just got introduced to Flavor West. Normally, I always used uh, Graham Cracker Clear from TFA. So, I got Capella's just to see if I liked it and then make a decision on which bigger bottle I need to get because there are a lot of options out there and which ones are better and if they're better for different purposes. But this one, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like a full, full grainy Graham Cracker. Kind of like you just pulled one out of a box. 
So on the back of my hand, and again, it's a stronger graham cracker, but it tastes full. It's like you get the grammy notes. You might even get a little bit of specks of cinnamon in there, but you can actually taste the graham cracker. Like, the graham cracker clear seems to be more, like, caramelly from TFA. It, the Flavor West one seems to be, like, really rich as well. But this one, this one I think might even be better than Flavor West. But again, I just got it. I gotta put it in some recipes. I gotta see how it steeps out. But so far, by the smell and off the hand, oh my god, so good. It tastes like Teddy Grahams in my mouth right there. Now, oh, it's excellent. Dude, Teddy Graham e-liquid. Boom. I call that. Do not copy me. I am going to make that. <laughs> Cinnamon Teddy Grahams. <laughs> okay. So, for the final flavor for the vape meal. And I know Zesty Vapes is going to give me crap for this because I didn't have this. I ordered it right away because I wanted to make a Zesty Vapes flavor. But every time I try to go and make a Zesty Vapes flavor, I find out I don't have one. So finally, I'm like, okay, I gotta get this flavor because you totally ragged on me for not having it before. And that is Capella Golden Pineapple. Yes, I know. I've had other pineapple flavors, but I've never had Capella Golden Pineapple. And I've heard so much about it. I just didn't feel like I needed it because I had all the other ones. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna break down and get it. Supposedly, it's one of the best pineapples. To me, it smells exactly like pineapple out of a can. Or actual pineapple for that matter. Oh, but it's, it, it smells excellent. Let's try it off the hand. Yeah, definitely. Tastes like a pineapple out of a can, honestly. I mean, those are the pineapples I usually eat. But it tastes straight up pineapple. It doesn't taste artificial. It tastes like a real pineapple. It's really good. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely give a lot of these new flavors a run for their money. I can't wait to use graham cracker, especially in the whipped cream. The other ones I've had for a while, but definitely could use a lot more of because I blow through this stuff in my all day vapes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vape mail. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. There's a lot more content to come. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you need anything for your DIY arsenal, check the links in the description below. A lot of great deals down there. And thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.